Hello! Haberman here, and today I am bringing you the Castlevania Adventure. First Castlevania game for the Game Boy, first of three. We're gonna go through all of them. Uh, with me today, I have a guest commentator. Hey everybody, this is Jim. And here we go. So this uh, came out at a time, uh, 1989, when uh, Konami was porting a bunch of their uh, games uh, to the Game Boy, or... Uh, not really porting. Porting is not the right word. Uh, but you know, it's like, because if you look at the Game Boy library, half the games are like fucking remakes of NES games. So Konami decided to cash in on that. And what we have is Castlevania Adventure. One of the most successful handheld Castlevania games to date, as you can see by the smooth frame rate and fast gameplay. Yeah, this isn't my, uh, this isn't Fraps being like a bad recording program or anything. The game is really this slow. And the audio glitches out this frequently, even if, uh, if you're playing on a real Game Boy. Which I, which I can uh, test you personally, because I have played this on a real Game Boy. I own this on a real Game Boy, and it's pretty awful. That's a point of pride, alright. Yeah, I think, in fact, uh, Sega used this in their Game Gear commercial to illustrate just how shitty it was. Oh, blast processing, not on a Nintendo. Here's Castlevania Adventure. Sega does what Nintendo don't. Oh, I should point out, uh, there are no sub-weapons, like no crosses, no daggers, no axes, just your, just your whip. You can level up the whip, uh, so it shoots flames like the sword from Zelda, like you would if you had max health. But when you get hit, you lose that power. Uh, every time, every time you get hit, your whip downgrades from the possible three levels to like level two or level one. Well, so real men like, don't need to. Real men don't need sub weapons. I mean, I think Koji just put the hearts in here as a cock tease to get you kind of amped up, waiting for that dagger to come, but it's never coming. Oh, and ducking doesn't work. So I'm back to the basic whip again, which is wonderful. Oh yeah, makes the enemies run in fear. It is like half damage. You pretty much need the chain whip, otherwise you're fucked. They give you a shit ton of invincibility in this game, the invincibility crosses. And, and the reason, uh, <laughs> pessimistically, but cynically, it sounds cynical to say this, but uh, it's true. It's really just them. They realize that you're not going to beat this game without the invincibility. You're not going to be able to climb the rope with the falling eyeballs. Because the eyeballs, they don't know how to make them stop when you're on the rope. So you need the invincibility, otherwise it'll almost kill you on the way up. So that he need to give you the cross, otherwise you can't you can't progress. You'll just keep on getting knocked off the rope. So if uh, you make it to the rope and you don't have the invincibility anymore, tough shit. Yeah, and it was so nice of him too to make that invincibility power up make you flash. Like the game wasn't going slow enough, but now you can't even see your fucking character at the one frame a minute it's going at. And you have no idea how long it lasts for either, unless you're manually counting it. Because there's like no like invincibility tune like in let's say Sonic. You know the song doesn't come to an end; it just stops. You're not invincible anymore. Tough Surprise! Shit. Yeah. Oh, so that candle at the end there, you, you need the uh, projectile whip to uh, get it, which I don't have. It's just a one-up anyway, so... Projectile whip? Well, yeah, the flame whip, I guess. The whip, the flame that comes out of the whip. The whip ah. that shoots the flame. Ugh, God. <laughs> We're only like a few minutes, we're like three minutes in, this game's already fucking boring. How the hell can you tell you're even making progress the uh, entire background? It's the same thing, repeating over and over and over again. <sighs> you're not making any progress. You're playing the Castlevania Adventure. You're not. Pr you're not productive. You're not going anywhere. I mean, I, I think you've slaughtered a birds. You know, enough birds to kill a forest here. <sighs> okay, time to save state because these jumps are fucking impossible. Uh, oh wow, I did get on the first take. Aww. Oh, never mind. <laughs> fucking, fucking robbed. No, you need to need to see like the pixel accuracy, and I think there's another part of this level coming up like immediately next. Where it's, it's literally per pixel, otherwise you're fucked. And when you when you need to make the yeah, here it is. These fucking platforms, okay? Your foot needs to be a pixel off, otherwise you don't make the jump. You need to literally not be standing on the platform. Your sprite needs to have like a pixel off the platform to be able to make the jump, which is which is retarded. That's that's stupid. That's stupid talk. That that's how men play the game, though. I mean, you know, and I yeah, it's meant there to be a, a difficulty feature. What are you gonna do? Leap of faith, right? Yeah, like an Indiana in Indiana in a game, yeah, literally, you gotta a trust that there's something to jump onto. Right, it's an issue of faith, especially in a game, you know, Castlevania. So. Freeze frame on any of these jumps, and it is just the, the dumbest thing you'll ever see. You'll just... I don't even bother trying to do it this time, because I need the whip power-up down here. So I can have the flame whip. So the whip power-up... And power I lose it! So I, I think I... Do I just load state? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, the whip power-up's the uh, orb, the pearl? The orb, yeah, the flashing orb. And so what, you can collect up to three of them, or how does it work? You can get, uh, first you start off with your leather whip, which is useless. Then you get the chain whip, and then you get the chain whip that shoots the flame. 
which is standard, right? I see a lot of whips that do that in real life, so makes sense. Yeah, it's uh, Barnum and Bailey's. Uh, they innovated it, you know, for their Tiger Act. They wanted to give it an extra boost for the 21st century. Because nothing's better than uh, a tiger getting whipped with a flaming chain. So this is retarded for any Castlevania game. This never happens. But instead of the boss just coming out, you have to hit a candle. Not only is hit the candle, you have to click its orb, and then the boss will appear. Otherwise, the bosses won't show up. Oh, they're giving you a minute to collect yourself after that intense uh, gaming session of getting through the death traps. And of course, the flame doesn't even work on him, because it just bounces right off his reflective armor. So we're just using the chain whip now. So they just like fucking with you. No sub weapons, give you a whip upgrade that really doesn't do anything. At least he explodes. At least that's satisfying, sort of. Sort of. It's like they have any of the bosses from the original Castlevania games. Like Frankenstein, the mummy, none of that. It's just generic boss. Just a guy in armor. Well, they're saving it for the later stages, right? Why did, why did, whoever decided that having the beeping sound as a timer becomes points was a good idea? It's a terrible idea. Oh, well, so here's the next level. Little preview, few seconds. Not gonna go into it this time, though. A little bit of a teaser. This teaser, that's co what's coming up next. Caves! Four levels, that's the second one. Get ready for bats and more slowdown. Bats instead of birds. Slugs <laughs> instead of snakes, yeah. <laughs> really mixing it up, except they do twice as much damage, so you're fucked. Oh, even better, yeah. Second level! Caves! Yay! Jim! Get some bats overhead. Watch the game slow down to a crawl! Nothing like throwing a couple enemies on the stage to get things down to one frame a second. Let's see what the power up there is. Oh, awesome! A cross! This will be awesome! We have to fight three bats at once or something! Yeah, after the fight. Oh, and I squandered it away too because I do need the cross to fight these three fucking bats! It's wonderful! Fucking great! I'm gonna get the shit beat out of me by these bats. Watch, let's watch it. Just watch. It's gonna happen. There's no, there's no fucking jump and dodge and whatever. They, they fucking have these crazy patterns. They just home in on you. I, I just got done recording this level, uh, and, and Jim heard me record the level. Uh, I didn't, I didn't use the audio from that because it features a lot of swearing. And I know this will feature a lot of swearing, but I think that would, that features more swearing than anybody wants to hear. Yeah, would it come out sounding like a let's play by a sailor? Yeah, I, I got really mad, and you'll see why. It, there's many things to get mad at in this level. And, you know, uh, you know, some, some of my life advice, you know, my motto is, you know, be chill. You know, be, don't stress out. There's no need to stress out, especially over video games. But I, I was very upset. Yeah, if you want to follow that life motto, don't fucking play this game. Oh, God. Like, I know, like, you know, people will, like, do, like, angry reviews of games or angry playthroughs. It, that's not funny. But, oh, my God. This, this level is just... Uh, this is like a sign of things coming. The first level wasn't completely bad. I mean, it was slow. It's poorly programmed. There's no sub-weapons, so it's like, you know, a shitty Castlevania game. You know you're not in for a good Castlevania game. The music's like the one redeeming feature about this game. The one thing this game has going for it. Because it certainly doesn't have the graphics. I love the hit Which detection, is... too, they've got on the enemies. You hit them about five times in the face. And fucking finally went down. And, you know, these things can hit you. It'll, it'll be like two pixels away from you, and you'll still get hit. Because your hitbox is a giant box. It's not actually your sprite. It's a giant box surrounding your sprite. Let's see if I can do this. Yeah, yeah I do this in the first nice. stage. I have one health left. Luckily, the hearts give you full health. Yeah, I didn't realize I that. I thought they were uh, for sub-weapons, like in every other game where the heart is. So, uh, this part I save state for. <laughs> because uh, this, this takes a few takes. The idea is you want to get the candle and jump the platforms and not die, because the platforms sink as soon as you hit them. This thing is like the steel whip thing. I missed it this time, and, well, I missed that too, so... And you gotta admit, it's a dick move of them to put that whip power up right in that candle. Like, you're gonna what wait the around the best for part it. is, if you hit it in midair, you stop, but you're on the platform, so the platform sinks, you can't even get on the platform! It's, 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 it's crazy talk, it's... Th who does this? Yeah, it's not Castlevania Advance, it's Castlevania Mindfuck. They like setting out little traps like that to stall you up. I try pausing, <laughs> maybe this will help. No, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Master strategy there, yeah. Oh my god, how many times did I fuck this up? This hurts to watch, but this, this hurt to play, so... Well, imagine doing this without save states. On a fucking Game Boy. I did this once. I beat this game once in the Game Boy. I don't know how the fuck I did it, but I did it. Glutton for punishment and a lot of batteries. It had to have been like 10, 15 years ago. It, it was more than a decade ago I did this, and I can't do this now. Back when this shit was acceptable in a game, yeah. No, this was never acceptable. This was never... Yeah, okay, this game, this game <laughs> makes the pass. 
No, everyone hated this game when it came out. Everyone still hates this game. Everyone has every right to hate this game. Well, this is quality programming. I mean, you know, great hit detection, great jumping mechanics. Look at this. Fluid motion. Ugh. Ah! God, I make it and I fucking don't get the power up! That's the most- that's the worst thing! It's like that power up is impossible to get! You can't do it! You can't get both! One or the other. You get the power up and die, or you progress in the game and don't get the power up. Oh my god. And I love their little, uh, angular attacks here. Like, that's not annoying as fuck. You can't even hit it! Because the whip is delayed! I don't know if I brought it up in the episode, but yeah, the first whip- Like, the whipping and jumping are delayed. It's not just slow as hell. It's also, you hit it, and you have to wait a full, like, two frames for you to even start the whip animation, which takes three frames! So that's, that's, that's just crazy! So do you think it was intentional? Do you think they wanted to make the game difficult? Or do you think it was a cheap technique so people never get to the Yeah, end? it's just Konami just, you know, trying to up the ante here. <laughs> they could have fixed it, because they did, because they had two more Game Boy games, and they weren't as slow as this, and they had sub-weapons, and the graphics were better, and it still played better than this. So, that's clearly had to have been the case, that Konami just wanted to amp shit up. There's no other explanation for how they could crash the Game Boy with this. Well, this was the shortest of the three, too, wasn't it? Yeah, it only has four stages. Uh, the next one, uh, Castlevania Adventure 2, has five or six stages, I think, and Legends has more. So do you think so, it was in intentional to pad out the game, then, that they made it uh, so many instant death traps? Well, we realized the game's made on the short side, so we just decided we'd drag it up and make the game play half speed, so it's, it's about it evens out! Yeah, more bang for your buck. Kids like that. Speaking of bangs, I don't know what the, Why does everything explode in this game? These eyeballs, is particularly, they just blow up when you hit them. And they pick up the bridge with you, too, which is... Which is bullshit, because it's... You know, we just demonstrated how great the jumping in this game is. And there's no way to jump over two eyeballs at the same time. It just doesn't happen. Yeah, they're trying so to... Is, they're trying to bait you into hitting it so you get knocked off the bridge. They're like the fucking barrels from Donkey Kong. That's the only comparison to come up with. There's bullshit and unfair. That's a Castlevania twist instead of exploding barrels, exploding eyeballs. Uh, do I make it this time? I think I do, actually. Ah, uh, no. Nope. Ugh. Now that would be uh, too much to ask for. It's such a dick move. Can you imagine some poor eight-year-old playing this and never making any of these fucking jumps? They'll never make it past the first level. <laughs> what? They'll make it past the first level. They'll get the fuck up with the power I fucked up, and they'll never make it further than that. <laughs> Enjoy your one-up, asshole. Now you die. Yep. Oh, so you know when like how Mario, Super Mario Bros, how occasionally they had like the like the castles, later castles, where you know uh, you keep on taking the same path over and over again for eternity until you took a different path. Oh, surprise! This is like, uh, deja vu, you know? This looks familiar. The kids will like that, extend the uh, game length a little more. Yeah, do the same room uh, a thousand times. Oh, my invincibility runs out just as the eyeball is inside me. It's beautiful. I like, too, how they put the infinite path trap in there with a time limit on the stage. Just any extra way they can fuck you out of a life, they're really gonna go for it. It's great how the game slows down, but the timer keeps ticking at the same fucking rate. It's not affected! by the slowdown, but you are! Yeah, that's one piece of programming they got right was the fucking time clock. Oh my god. Ugh, and I hate these guys. I, I hated them earlier. I'm, I'm still stuck with the leather whip, so it takes like four hits to kill him, which is which is more than it should take. Well, with the yeah, the hit detection the way it is, you have to get in close to nail them, and they've got projectile weapons. You're fucked by the time you get close to them. And I lose a chain whip a second later. That's wonderful. Oh, and the jump, of course. I time it. You know, I, I, I'm i not jumping three frames in advance. I'm jumping, you know, when I wouldn't need to jump in any other game that wasn't slow as molasses. So, you know, my bad. My, my mistake, guys. They really make you earn the high score on this fucker, don't they? Uh, I don't even bother trying to... I think I crouch or jump... But yeah, yeah, see? You, you can crouch one and jump the other. And aside from the bats in this game, who the fuck are the enemies? Like, I, I don't recognize any recurring characters from the entire fucking series. Ah, recurring shit! Oh my god. More death traps. Infinite paths. So here's the boss. <laughs> fucking sloth of death. Uh, infinite sloths of death. They can jump 30 feet in the air, of course. And they're super fast, that's nice. So as you may have guessed, uh, I, I we recorded this in advance. Uh, so there's, there's about 24 takes of me fucking this up, and <laughs> that's no exaggeration. I don't know how many I'm going to show, how many I won't show. Because I know there's some pretty bullshit deaths. Like, you think you think this is a good spot. 
because you know they're not hitting me except for this one comes out kills me. Yeah, isn't that amazing too? How slowdown happens when you have uh, what three bats on stage and they're moving slow as shit, but you can put these sloths on there and they're gonna go super fast. No slowdown at all. This part is bullshit. This is the most bullshit boss battle of all time. <laughs> There's like there are levels in Ikaruga that are easier than this. <laughs> It's painful to watch because I'm just I'm just flashing back to everything I was doing two minutes ago. <laughs> like a rape victim trying to wash away the shame. Oh, I'm just in the shower for hours. I can't get clean. I'm just dirty. I feel dirty. Can't get the moles off you. <laughs> and I I don't remember this either from the Castlevania mythology. I, I sure as shit don't remember playing Symphony of the Night and having a sloth come after me. I don't remember this in uh, Castlevania One. Uh, the whole point of Castlevania is that it's cool, they have recurring shit, like, you know, you'll fight the Grim Reaper in every game right before you fight Dracula. They don't have any of that in this game. I mean, you kill Dracula as the ending of the game, but, uh... Yeah, instead, I mean, of, instead of death, you get a couple of monkeys. Instead of fucking uh, Frankenstein, you get a giraffe. It's a fucking, <laughs> it's a fucking zoo. That's what you're fighting. It's, uh, Christopher Belmont takes on the whole, uh, Brooks... Brooks Zoo. <laughs> well, is this... Going through all the exhibits one by one. This is the cave exhibit where they keep all the caved animals. <laughs> well, is this even ca... or... Which Belmont is this, anyway? This it's is, uh, Christopher lineage. Belmont, who is either, depending on which of the timelines, because there are multiple timelines in the Gathlebania series, if, uh, I don't know if any of you knew that or not, but there's, uh... But no one knows which fucking... Not even Konami knows which, uh... Which timeline is the official one at this point. They didn't give a shit back then. Yeah, I think at this yeah, point the they just want to forget this fucking game. Well, well, the, okay, we're playing as Christopher Bond, who's either the grandson or grandfather of Simon, in the uh, first and second game. You know, an easy mistake to make. You're either the grandfather or the grandson. I make that mistake you know, all the time. It, it's between one of five generations, okay? You know, so. only a 50-year gap in difference. That's not too hard to discern. Uh, these games, though, uh, well, not this one. Uh, this one, I think, is still part of the timeline. Christopher still shows up. Castlevania Legends, the third one, has been retconned. Oh, was that, was the, that was the one they didn't like, huh? That's the one where they said, No, a story for this! This conflicts too much! Even though it had no confliction at all, and most people, most Castlevania fans will tell you it still belongs, so there's no reason it should have been retconned. Right, we gotta keep the sloths in the timeline. We can't, we can't lose these fucking moles. They have to stay in their integral to the fucking Castlevania storyline. <laughs> They're a major part of the mythos. They wrote the book just about the moles. Right, we have uh, Dracula give a monologue at the end of the game about these fucking characters. We cannot lose this game. Ah, remember the moles in those caves? Those were the village people turned into moles. You're killing your own kind. Ah, it's dramatic. Yeah, I remember the Dracula fight in uh, Symphony of the Night. You know, when I'm Al uh, when I'm walking up as Alucard, and, you know, Dracula's talking about these sloths, and I can't figure out what the fuck he's talking about. It was this game. They had to keep it in the timeline. You friend of humans! But do you know that the humans- Oh, look how close I was! I had one- there was one bar of them left! Bar one of them left! <laughs> well, how many- yeah, you're fighting what, 16 or 18 of them? There's two of them for every, uh, one bar on their gauge. Let's- let's fucking count when we get to the winning page. Yeah, it's 20. You have to kill 20 of these fuckers. Oh my god! And every time they hit you, it's a full bar, so... <laughs> god. This is so unfair. Who does this? Who, who playtested and said, Yeah, Ace! Yeah, go, 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 go for it. Yeah, definitely, just, uh, put, yeah, put it up. <laughs> yeah, put this on a cartridge and uh, sell to people for money. Yeah, they'll like it. Kids love animals. Throw a couple animals in there, they'll like it. Yeah, kids like animals, uh, moles, and, uh, yeah, the bats, and the, the birds, and the birds and the bees, what do you gonna do? I can already see the board meeting. Yeah, let's replace those fucking skeletons as the end of level boss on level 2 and put a couple of moles in there. That'll shut the kids up with the uh, slowdown <laughs> and the poor hit detection and shitty jump physics. That'll work. <laughs> oh wow, this is still going on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> take, playing it. take number wow, 40. I'm still playing this game. I uh, haven't quit yet. <laughs> you really get your fucking money's worth, don't you? Five hours later when you beat number uh, uh, fucking level 2. I think I discover, I discover here that I can wait by the holes and I can hit them while they're still inside the holes. And that's, that's a major, that's the turning point in this battle. <laughs> well, the arc of their jump changes too, depending on where you're standing, so it's really a bitch to even try to get a strategy down, because little fuckers home in on you. Oh my god! <laughs> I can't even watch this. Yeah, I'm... Like, you know, some people will tell me to edit this when I post this, but you know what? Fuck it. This is what it's really like to play this game. I cut- I did it. It's called save states. Imagine this in real life. 
I don't. You don't have save states. You just fuck up. Ah, oh, we won. Nuts. In fact, I, I bet you that was the uh, the strategy behind this. I bet you Konami and Nintendo got together and said, "I need you to." <laughs> Nintendo said, "I need you to make the most infuriating game, so people will throw their fucking system at the wall, and go out and buy a new one." So Konami's oh, like, "All right, we got it. Level. Yeah, we can handle that." Next level preview. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen with that spike ceiling? I don't know, but it's, the, it's definitely not gonna be like Mario Brothers Three. Oh, it's not gonna be good. Yeah. <laughs> fantastic series. Fantastic game. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> so is that the, is that the storyline behind this game? Is that's what you're trying to find out at the end? Are you the grandfather or are you the grandson? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you need to ask Dracula, he's the only old enough fucker around to tell you? It's actually not a Castlevania game, it's Mori the game, and you have to find it's, it's the person. Who's, who's the baby's daddy? That's the end? Yeah. <laughs> Dracula tells you at the end, you are Simon's grandfather. Death comes out with a little black baby attached to his tit while he's <laughs> breastfeeding on stage. Dracula's like, that ain't my fucking kid. <laughs> oh, wow, there's two more levels of this. And they only get harder. <laughs> That's fucking hard to imagine. Uh, so what's the uh, next level boss then? A uh, fucking rhino? It's probably just some... Uh, <laughs> Marmaduke? Is it Marmaduke? Or maybe uh, <laughs> the fucking Monkey George from uh, The Man in the Yellow Hat? Tune in next time and find out on the Castlevania's Adventure Game Boy LP. Yeah, tune in next time. Oh, it's a t teaser. Now you're interested. Now you definitely want to watch the next episode. Because this episode definitely didn't turn you away. You didn't get bored to death of this shit. Yeah, find out next episode what animal he gets mauled with next.